Hey, love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. Definitely hope the same for you as well. So if this is your first time stepping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you give me each and every day. Um, as I give to you, you know, I know we're going through these crazy changes. We go through up and down, trying to understand our gifts, trying to understand the shifts that we go through, the spiritual awakening. I know that can be scary as well as frustrating. So, you know, I try to make it as comfortable as possible. You know, I know the situations we go through is not comfortable, but, you know, I like to put videos out there that help can make sense of the things that you're going through you know as i've gone through them you know i tell y'all the things that i'm going through you know hopefully it makes sense of the things that you're experienced at that time um so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe either hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as well as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction as well and and if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or um, just good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend please um, go ahead and do so go ahead and share give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and thank you so much for you know for the love and support today I am listening to Tibetan bowls for meditation. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Um, Tibetan bowls for meditation, natural sounds, and pure positive vibes and relaxation. I'll post that link in the description box below. And, you know, I really love doing Tibetan uh, bowl meditations. They, they can be very comforting. So, um, uh, yesterday, I, I took a break, y'all. I was just so tired between doing videos and doing one-on-ones and, you know, answering people on Messenger and all that stuff. I didn't get a chance. If anybody has emailed me, I have not got a chance to do it because it was like I was doing 50 million things at one time. There's some people that, eat, you know, hit me up on Messenger. I didn't even get back to them yet because it's just so many things I've been doing um at at the time it's just been frustrating but you know i love the things that i do but it just keeps me very busy and that's like that's a blessing especially if you got some things that you're trying to heal from and let go of it keeps your mind away from you know the bad memories or just you know just bad things that, that might be able to cross your mind or whatever so um hold on y'all pause for a cause Sorry about that. My cat was over here sleeping. I seen his leg shaking, so I was just trying to make sure he was okay. But anyways, um, yeah, you know, I had to take a break yesterday, y'all. I was just so tired, and I'm still doing my videos today, and it's late in the afternoon. I'll try to do them in the morning time, but it was like, you know, running all over the place this morning and trying to get things done. I didn't get a chance to do it, and recording different stuff that I was doing earlier. It's just 333. That's a good thing. Um... So it's just been hectic for the last few days and I've been just like trying not to be cranky, but it's just like I'm doing so much at the time and it's like a blessing to be able to do. But, you know, it can get overwhelming at times when you're trying to do videos as well as, you know, make sure that your extended family is okay checking on them. And I love that as well. I don't want nobody to think that's frustrating to me because that's what I signed up for. That's the things that I do. So, but when you got everything going on at one time, it can get crazy. So that was the part that was, you know, getting overwhelming. It's just like a million things coming at you at one time. But anyways, I had to take that break. So, you know, y'all be seeing these first thing in the morning whenever you get up but my video today is about twin flame 101 um hey Ocus, when you're going the signs that you're going through a drastic change y'all have known if y'all been with me for a while i mean like over like six months to a year you have known you you know seen so many sides of me but then there was a time that i was doing so much i was doing five four or five no four videos a day plus i was doing live then i was doing one-on-ones and then i was answering emails and then i was video chatting and those people i was talking to on the phone counseling with them you know i was just doing so many things that i had to take a break for a minute you know i said i went ahead and 
you know, answer back my emails and um, my my uh, messenger, whoever I was in touch with to let them know, hey, I'm okay. I just had to take a break and take, you know, do some self-care because, you know, if you're doing so much of this, you know, just anybody that's a YouTuber, but with mine, it's very unique because it's like, you know, I'm doing the empath thing and Hayoka thing and whatever, not saying that my, my, my YouTube channel is more important than anybody else's, but I'm only taking what I know for mine. You know, I don't know what people got to do on theirs. I'm just talking about for me. So it, it became a lot to where I was feeling burnt out for a while. So, you know, anytime you, you're doing something, you feel burnt out, you do need to take care of yourself. If there's times you feel overwhelmed, you know, you need to do that. You need to take care of yourself because when I came back, people that's been with me for a while, they told me, Roslyn, your energy feels so calm. You know, before I was like popping energy drinks and da -da 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 -da, saying stuff probably about two or three times. And I even realized it until after I uploaded the video. I'm like, well, shoot, they already know. <laughs> you know, I'm tired. I'm doing the most. And, you know, people are starting to say, Rosalind, you need a break. Cause we're, you, you, you're acting like you're tired. And I really had to do that. So when you're going through those drastic changes, you know, we're going through spiritual awakenings. We're going through ascension. We're going through uh, kundalini, dark night of the soul. That I mean, I, like I said, I give it to anybody. I give y'all a virtual hug and a kiss on the forehead. If you are going through that stuff, you know, especially with all that at one time. I was going through all that, breaking out in rashes. You know, there's times where, you know, my face is starting to heal back because it was really bad on my legs. And, you know, I was just like, oh, God, is my whole body going to be covered like that? But it was just on my legs, so... It wasn't that bad. Well, it was bad, but it wasn't bad to the point where it was all over the place, like chicken pox or whatever. But they hurt really bad. But it was just me purging a lot of things. But when you're going through those drastic changes that, you know, the universe is pushing you towards, they are going to get uncomfortable. And like I tell y'all all the time, get comfortable being uncomfortable because you go through so many changes. You might get irritable. You might be crying at a drop of a hat. You might get confused, you know, having hot flashes. You're being you know, very fatigued. Sometimes your eating habits will change, but then you'll know you'll be you, you, you get not um, complacent, but you won't be forcing that, you know, forcing yourself not to change when you know gradually you have to change anyway. You know, if you don't do it, the universe is going to make you do it. It will put you in situations where, you know what, I surrender. When you finally surrender towards everything and seeing the things for as they are, not being upset when you see the things, not being pissed off when you go through the things, not saying, why me? You know, there's times we are not going to have good days. That's fine. You know, that is okay, but you have to try to see all the positive things that are going out throughout the day. And you have to be very grateful for those things. So when the universe and God, whoever you, you know, who you pray to, start seeing that, hey, I'm grateful for all these situations. I might not have everything I have that I want, but I'm grateful for the things that you placed in my life. I'm grateful for the people you put in my life, whether it's a good experience or a bad experience. Because you're learning lessons throughout those situations as well. Anybody who comes, you know, there's people been in and out of my life. There's people that exit my life and I didn't understand why. But I can't question that. They're, they were there for that season. Don't try to put lifetime expectations on seasonal people. That's one thing we have confusion with because then we'll get upset. Like, why did this person leave my life? Why, you know, they were only supposed to be there for a short period of time. You just cannot ask those questions. And it's just like you, you could have an addiction towards things like I told y'all before i had addiction to, to cigarettes addiction to marijuana addiction to have uh, a glass of wine or whatever every other day and not even every other day probably like three times a week or it got from the time for, from it three times a week so i cut it down to just a weekend and then after that i haven't had a drink since thanksgiving and that is a beautiful thing to me because it's just like before me trying to handle everything if everybody know anybody who knows my backstory and my situation they were like browsing i'm not <laughs> uh, ooh, i'm surprised it ain't stronger than what what you did say you were doing but you know that's what i was coping with but i use that as a escape and it's just like when you do stuff like that it's not healthy for you because when when all is said and done and when you sober up the problem's still gonna be there so now it's just like i'm facing everything i gotta deal with head on and the more i'm more embracing my gift the more the universe helps me with they uh expand my gift out like if it's medium clairvoyant or just not from the you know 
from uh, being an INFJ or a uh, twin flame or a Hayoka, you know, the medium, the clairvoyant, the clair clairsentian or whatever that is, um, being able to see things. It's like when people hit me up on Facebook, you know, or they email me and they tell me their life story. I always tell them, you know, you want me to help you. Let me know what you're going through so I can be able to see you know, where you're at, where things that you might not even know about yourself that you might need to go check up on. There's a lot of people I'm going to help do that. You know, like Rosalind, you know, I didn't even notice about myself. There are certain things they were scared to accept because it's like being, even being a white witch, I forgot to put that on there. Um, you know, a lot of people think of that as a negative thing. It just depends on what you're pushing out because yes, they do have white witches and they actually have the black ones too. One who, who uh, you know, uh, does their into the dark arts as well as the white arts. Me, I, I'm always pushing out anything that's good. But, you know, as growing up and, you know, especially throughout the millennium of years, you know, they always frowned upon witches because they were doing something bad. They were doing something that cannot be explained. So there's a lot of people that found themselves being Wiccans or pagans or whatever. And thought of the negative side to it has to just be open minded. You have to be open-minded towards the things that, you know, are coming towards you. There's a reason why you're going through these situations. There's a reason why these things are starting to show up that you truly need to know about yourself. And when you're more welcome to those situations, you never know what's going to come to you. So all these things, when you're, when you're seeing them and you're knowing you're comfortable with, hey, all right, this is coming into my life. What do I do next? When you know you're going through all those drastic changes and you're not fighting it, you know, that's when you know something really good is going to come into your life. So be patient with yourself. Be gentle. You're not going to learn everything in one day. You're not going to figure yourself out in one day. Even though it's yourself, there's a lot of things about you you have not even opened up to yet. So be gentle with yourself. The more you're being self-accepted to your, to your gifts and as well as yourself, being able to walk in your true self, that's when you're going to know, hey, I'm going through that drastic change. So be able to pay attention to the signs. It's letting you know that you're heading towards a big, brighter future. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I'd love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on your social media favorites or a family or friend. Whoever needs to... Um, needs to hear it and uh let me see and if you let me know that you're hit the notification button if you're subscribed i'll go ahead and give you a shout out the healing coach and thomas roberts and line uh larson and Teresa uh anderson much love to you um sending out love and blessings to all and i hope i'll see you you know on my next video and I, you have a blessed weekend and be responsible and safe for everything you do peace and be wild.